Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a video on dental hygiene versus nursing. So a couple of months ago, I filmed a video on dental hygiene versus dentistry and I received a lot of messages on my Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram, especially if you live in Dallas, message me on Instagram. I need patience. Yes, I have been getting a lot of messages from people who are either going into nursing or dental hygiene, just wanting to know why I chose dental hygiene as opposed to nursing. Um, and I decided to make a video about it. So let's get started. So before I start, I wanted to say that like dentists and medical doctors, I feel like it's very similar, except dentists are doctors for the teeth. But for nursing and dental hygiene, I don't feel like dental hygienists are nurses for the teeth and not to um, overstep but I feel like if anything dental hygienists are kind of like the um, I don't know what I'm trying to say but just like whatever is on the preventative side of medicine we are just basically on the preventative side of dentistry but I do think that nurses and dental hygienists are very similar we do have the same or very similar education and very similar salaries. First, I wanna talk about the pros of nursing and the pros of dental hygiene, but I won't be going too deep into the pros of dental hygiene because I already did that video. Um, one of these up here, probably. First pro for nursing, there are so many opportunities to grow, especially if you're pursuing like advanced nursing, like um, nurse practicing or a nurse anesthetist. You know, there are so many opportunities and so many you know, once you get into there, then salaries are not comparable to dental hygiene. Like advanced in nursing, there's gonna be advanced salaries and everything, that's awesome. As opposed to dental hygiene, there aren't really many different career paths, I would say. You know what I mean? Like a hygienist working at a cosmetic dentistry place or a hygienist working in an oral surgery place, is probably gonna be doing the same thing as the cosmetic hygienist, but the nurse working in like a hospital um, in the surgical wing is going to be doing different things than a nurse in labor and delivery or way different things than the nurse practitioner or the nurse anesthetist. You know, it's just very different career options within nursing, which is amazing. Another pro but con for me um, when it comes to nursing was that they do have many different hourly salary options. Um, they are not limited to the clinical hours that like hygienists are limited to, which I love. <laughs> but if you are a nurse and you wanted to completely stack your bag and you're working hourly, you could literally work um, 24 hours if you wanted to. Whereas hygienists don't, because we, you know, pretty much it's like nine to five or some are nine to seven or seven to seven, you know, as opposed to nursing, um, it's like the whole day. Whole day is yours to choose. Another pro for nursing is that there is always a demand, always has been, always will be a demand for nurses. Um, whereas dental hygiene, I feel like the demand for dental hygienists has been, you know, increasing and hasn't really gone down. But at the same time, you just never know, in my opinion. Um, in the past, there have been many demands even now there are many demands um, but I just feel like you never know especially with COVID I feel like that kind of exposed the security for dental hygiene. Their pro for nurses um, that I consider a con which is why I chose dental hygiene obviously um, is that you are constantly on your feet you never know what you're gonna see and that you have multiple patients at once. That sounds very hectic to me um, with dental hygiene, which is a con for a lot of people, uh, but for me it was definitely a big flashing red probe, was that it is kind of a repetitive job. Um, I'm not gonna come to work one day and have a Grey's Anatomy moment where I'm like, oh my God, this needs to be solved immediately. It's like I know exactly what I'm doing, I know exactly what I'm going to work for, um, and then I leave. Of course, the pros of dental hygiene, hours aren't long. Um, tomorrow is Christmas time, holiday time. Hygienists will not be working. That's just the fact. Like, offices will not be open 
Um, so we do get our holidays, whereas nurses, you can obviously choose to work during that time, um, but you do have that option to work. I personally will never want to work on a holiday, even if I'm not doing anything, I just don't wanna work. That's it for my comparison um, for nurses and dental hygienists, but whichever route you go, you are probably going to have to take an entrance exam, whether that is your T's test, whether that is the HESI A2, like I had to take. I posted the video on tips and tricks on how I passed the HESI A2 exam with the 96. That's gonna be somewhere up here. Um, click and watch that whenever you are done with this video. In that video, I listed a bunch of resources that helped me practice with the HESI A2 exam. One of those resources was nursehub.com. I'm gonna flash them really quick on the screen. They have free practice tests, which I used, and they also have paid practice packages, which include like more than 1,900 questions that are pretty similar to the HESI or the T's. By the way, they have separate HESI and T's practice packages. And they also have the Wonderlick exam if some of your programs require you to take the Wonderlick exam. They have that practice too. Their free practice problems are so helpful, but if you take those free practice problems and still feel like you're gonna need more help for the actual exam, then I would definitely look into their paid practice packages. Y'all, that is so hard to say. Paid practice packages. Paid well, I guess it's not that hard, but yeah, I would definitely look into that because again, 1900 questions plus, um, and it's literally like the same thing as the test that you're going to take. Thanks again, nursehub.com for sponsoring this video. Also guys, I am so happy and so grateful that they are my first sponsor on this channel because it just worked so well. Like I literally used them freely, recommended them before my other video. Um, so obviously I believe in them. Check them out, nursehub.com, nursehub.com, nursehub.com. I'm going to link them down below. I'm going to link the T's paid practice and I'm going to link the HESI paid practice and I'm going to link the Wonderlick paid practice um, all down below separately. Okay y'all that is it for the video. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, let me know if you got into your program or if you're applying. I love the